Hard facts about Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus didn't spit poison at its prey. Dilophosaurus wasn't poisonous, and to date there's no convincing evidence that any dinosaur of the Mesozoic era deployed poison in its offensive or defensive arsenal. Dilophosaurus didn't have an expandable neck frill. There's no reason to believe that Dilophosaurus, or any dinosaur, for that matter, possess such a frill. But since this is a kind of soft tissued anatomical feature that wouldn't preserve well in the fossil record, there's at least some room for reasonable doubt. Dilophosaurus was much, much bigger than a golden retriever. In the movie, Dilophosaurus is portrayed as a cute, playful, dog sized critter, but the fact is that this dinosaur measured about 20 feet from head to tail and weighed in the neighborhood of 1,000 pounds. Dilophosaurus was named after its paired head crests. The most distinctive feature of Dilophosaurus was the paired crests on top of its skull, the function of which remains a mystery. Most likely, these crests were either a sexually selected characteristic, that is, males with prominent crests were more attractive to females during mating season, or they helped members of the pack to recognize each other, assuming, of course, that Dilophosaurus hunted or traveled in packs. Dilophosaurus may have had a warm-blooded metabolism. There's a good case to be made that the fleet, predatory theropods of the Mesozoic era were powered by warm-blooded physiologies, akin to those of modern mammals. Although we have no direct evidence that Dilophosaurus possessed feathers, a feature of many Cretaceous theropods that points to an endothermic metabolism, there's no compelling evidence against this hypothesis, either. For a half-ton dinosaur, Dilophosaurus had unusually healthy feet. Some paleontologists insist that the most telling feature of any given dinosaur fossil is its feet. In 2001, a team of researchers examined 60 separate metatarsal fragments attributed to Dilophosaurus, but found no evidence of any stress fractures, which either means that this dinosaur was unusually light on its feet, 